my review of the SM7300 by Kahuna. If you're like me, you've already been to local stores and found that there's very few chairs you can try out in person, which is really unfortunate. I basically had to roll the dice and buy a chair online, and so far it has paid off for me. I did demo a few chairs from Coesia between two and 8,000, 8,000 being too much. Price-wise, 2,000 not having enough functionality. Now, Amazon does have some nice looking chairs, uh, not aesthetically, but as far as feature-wise, in the thousand dollar price range but what i was finding is that people were saying when something went wrong with the chair they couldn't get it fixed they couldn't get parts they couldn't even get anyone on the phone and i didn't want to buy a chair where i couldn't get on-site support now this chair has a two-year warranty parts and labor so if anything goes wrong they come on site and, and fix the chair at no cost to you and this video i want to say is not promotional in any, any way I, I don't get any incentive for making this video uh, the chair is not perfect. I'm going to give you the good and the bad. I just want to help you make an informed decision uh, because I know where you're at. I was there just a month ago trying to find a chair and found there was very little information. There's very little objective information. You get videos from the, the person making the chair. And you get people videos from people selling the chair, but no one giving you video reviews uh, that are just consumers. Now, aesthetically, this is a pretty nice looking chair. I went with dark brown because it matches my furniture better. Uh, the nicest chair I've seen in this price range, there are nicer ones, but you're gonna be paying more money for them. As far as the massage goes, the built-in massages are absolutely incredible. The yoga stretch, it, it's amazing. Uh, great calf compression, great shoulder compression, really pulls and stretches you out. Uh, golfer mode, great uh, lumbar area massage office worker gives you a great neck massage the uh, the athlete and pain recovery ones are also really good i pretty much loved all the built-in uh massage programs other than the senior mode probably because it's just a little too gentle for me personally but i imagine those looking for a gentler massage will appreciate it being there now the arm massage is nothing fantastic i can't say i've seen a great arm massage in any massage chair um what i don't like about it is that it, you kind of have to bow your arms out. Uh, it, it's definitely due to the design of a chair to accommodate a larger person. Now, I was going to get the smaller Kahuna. I was worried, uh, I forget the model number, but it's $1,900 on Amazon. But I was worried it wasn't gonna be big enough for me because I'm six foot one. Uh, unfortunately, I have a smaller waist, uh, 32 inches, and I'm, you know, larger shoulders, but smaller waist. So I end up, I end up not really getting enough hip massage with this particular chair. Now, the support has been phenomenal. They've already offered to send me out larger airbags, uh, as well as additional padding for the back and the feet. I didn't even ask for that, they just offered. Again, just phenomenal support and no charge to me, just offered it and I'm, I'm pretty excited to try out the, the new hip bags and see how the, the, lump, the additional padding affects the feet and the back. Now, I wouldn't say that the back needs additional padding. Uh, I will say that the lumbar for me is a little bit rough on the hip bone, but I'm particularly sensitive there anyways. I feel it anytime a masseuse gives me a mas massage around my hip bone. I think I'm just abnormally sensitive there, but I definitely will appreciate that additional back uh, padding. Now, as far as the feet, it can be a little rough. Um, I will say as a plus that I was pleasantly surprised that there was even a shiatsu massage in the feet. Uh, I only saw that in the $8,000 Cozia one that I tried. I'm not saying that it, it's not in ch cheaper models, but I pretty much expected there wasn't going to be a Shiatsu foot massage, but there was, so great plus there. It's a little rough if you don't get enough extension though. Uh, this does extend out 12 inches, which is why I wanted to go with this larger model over the smaller one. Um, the extension is fine, but I will say that your your heels sometimes lose contact with the back and you don't really get much of a heel massage even when your heel is making contact. But you, you get these kind of stretching uh, motions where it pulls your feet out and you, your feet will frequently lose contact. Um, and I haven't quite figured out a solution for that. I think it's just a trade-off of getting that stretch, so to speak. Um, but and a recommendation would be that they would improve the heel massage or find a, basically angle the foot up more so it always stays in contact uh, even when you're you're reclining and, and so forth now like i said the arm massage is fine the compression is good uh, i would definitely say that if you're a smaller person uh you know it's not going to feel like the chair is closing in on you like i said you have to bow your arms out and and without these larger airbags you're probably going to 
have the same issue as me where you're not getting quite enough hip massage. Um, don't get me wrong, the massage is still absolutely phenomenal. Uh, these are just, like I said, uh, objective complaints, I would say, about the chair. Uh, not to focus just on the negative because the back massage is really good. The calf massage is absolutely phenomenal. The shoulder massage is phenomenal. But these, the, you can see here this kind of gap. Uh, granted, these aren't inflated right now, but you don't get quite enough compression there. Uh, arms, I would love to just kind of rest my arms on my side, but you kind of have to bow them out, which is fine. Just a minor ergonomic complaint. Um, the recline of the chair is fine. It does recline into what they call zero gravity, but it's not a true zero gravity recline. Um, ideally, it would be nice if the legs actually came up a bit higher, and I'll go ahead and recline it just so you can see that. Now, when you think of zero gravity, you, you think of your legs being up and out straight, uh, so it takes all pressure off of your back. Unfortunately, this still stays at a slight declined angle, which is hard to see on the video, but you definitely feel it if you're someone like me who is really sensitive to lumbar pressure. Uh, so if I had to re recommend a few things ergonomically, it would be nice if there was a way to offer knee support, which I haven't seen in any chair. Uh, it would be nice if you got more lift on the legs, they went up higher, and of course the back would probably need to go down further. So you go into a true zero gravity position. I'd recommend they check out some uh, zero gravity chairs and uh, compare that to what you're actually getting shape-wise or uh, position-wise with this chair. Uh, granted, I know this is a video for consumers, but if you're the manufacturer and you're watching, that's definitely a recommendation is improve the zero gravity position. Now, feature-wise, absolutely fantastic. You're not gonna find a chair like this, at least I couldn't, in this price range with this feature set. The lumbar uh, heating, fantastic it's definitely noticeable it's not one of those things like okay i sort of feel it it's definitely noticeable to where you're going to appreciate the lumbar heating um the l track another great feature that i did not find even in a lot of the more expensive chairs that are over five thousand uh, dollars i'm not really sure why i would think an l track would be standard in any massage chair over three thousand um, dollars but it just just isn't um, because of the L track, you get a fantastic glute massage that is completely missing from all the other chairs I demoed in person. Um, what I will say would be nice if the L track went out further and gave you an actual hamstring massage as well, but it doesn't, unfortunately. I haven't seen that in any chair, so not really a comparison point. Just would be nice if that was offered sometime in the future. Okay, so I think that pretty much covers the uh, general functionality. You know, as far as the, the style of the massage, you're getting the chopping, you're getting the rolling. Um, and like I said, the, the built-in programs, fantastic. Yoga stretching, golfer, uh, pain relief, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it, it, it's like it's like getting a real massage and in some ways it, it replicates, it does things that you could not replicate by human being, so to speak. Uh, so pretty impressed with that. If I could get the... Uh, you know, small quirks worked out with the, the legs and so forth, I think it would be the perfect chair for me. For now, I would say it's the perfect chair in this, uh, this price range. Definitely, uh, I, I don't think I could have found something better in the $2,500 $2, price range. Now the remote, it would be nice if you could mount the remote. Unfortunately, you can't. Um, you just kind of have to hang it in this holder. So when you're massaging, getting a massage, you just kind of want to sit on your lap or sit over here. There's no way to like mount it so you can view the display. The other thing is it'd be nice if you could first select a program and then from there customize it uh, rather than having to start something, go back and then adjust the settings, you know, to augment the massage. Uh, furthermore, it'd be nice if you could save uh, the uh, settings as like a custom setup so you could replay that later. Ideally, I'd like to say auto program, yoga stretching, and then I'd say custom or not and then select heating, yes, the length of time, and so forth, and then say go. And then I could save that as well as custom one. Then when I come back, I could select custom one again. But unfortunately, you can't do that. I'm not sure if that functionality is in higher price models, but I will say that the displays I saw on um, other massage chairs seem to be nicer than this one. This seems to be like one point where they really 
try to save money was with the remote, but it does get the job done. All right, I think that covers everything. I hope this is helpful. Uh, feel free to post in the comments if you have any questions. Um, give you one last look at the chair. Unfortunately, I can't transmit the actual massage, but I will say after two weeks of using this, uh, very pleasant experience, happy with my purchase. I don't think I could have found something better for the money, um, but like I said, not perfect, uh, but pretty darn good.